So here we are after we've cleaned the cedar shake roof and uh, we cleaned it with low pressure so um, very nice job um, a little bit of the existing stain was uh, cleaned off and you can see here this is like uh, where the old mold and mildew used to be but we've still got a lot of the old existing roof stain on the roof so um, uh, that's the benefit of not using high pressure on on a cedar shake roof so what we're going to do is we're going to do some spot repair on the roof and uh, we're going to show you how we do that and uh, how we um, go about uh, preserving and restoring your cedar shake roof Uh, today we're going to teach you how to um, remove a, a cedar shake from a roof and install a new one. So what we want to do first of all is just pry the, the shake up like that off the nails and to remove it there's another row of nails up here. Now if it's a very stubborn shake we can go up under here and remove these two sets of nails but uh, it's better just to give it up lots of little taps like that pull on it and you'll find that shake will come right on out um, uh, I call that my woodpecker method just and you'll vibrate that shake and what will happen is you'll pull it you can see here, you can see the nails right here, how we've, we've dragged that wood shake right through those nails. And uh, of course we just want to flatten those old nails in there. And we're going to install a new shake here. Now there's a row of tar paper up here. And it's very important that when we put the shake in, and we slide it in, when we get it up to that tar paper that we lift it up a little bit and then we just tap it in that way it's going to go under that layer of tar paper we don't want it hitting the tar paper and 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 ripping the tar paper up it's got to slide neatly under that tar paper there we go and you can feel it it's going into that upper row level of nails it's, it's wedging into those nails about that far so we want to leave the shake a little bit short and uh, get some uh, number 7D galvanized nails. We need two nails, one on each side. And then we want to tap, don't, don't put the nails in all the way, just almost there. And then we want to tap that shake up the rest of the way. And uh, looks like we've got another one here, so we'll do it again. Pop the shake up, give it the uh, pull that out. That wasn't in very tight. And again, we'll get a, a nice a nice shake. And the shake looks a little big, so we're going to split that shake so it fits under the row of nails. Tap it in. Two nails. Almost in. So you can just see that nail there. Just see that nail right there because the nails are going to pull as we tap this into place. nice and tight shake there. So uh, this is Chris from Southern Exterior and uh, we do all your cedar shake work in South Florida. 561-502-7663. And as you can see we've just gone around and we've pulled out our, our, 
our worst shakes first so we're going to pass it around the roof and pull out the worst ones and uh, then what we're going to do is put in our our new wood shakes um, and then we're going to see how many left we have in our bundles uh, well, I believe we've estimated this just about right so you can see on the front side of the roof we have more shakes out and I do the roof in two passes first of all I get out the really bad ones uh, put the wood in and then uh, go back around and get the not so bad ones um, and that way you're going to find that you spread the wood evenly over the roof and it's very important to um, remove the shakes correctly uh, and this is why you want to hire a very experienced person with cedar shake because if you're breaking one or two shakes while trying to get out the other shakes you're immediately double the material and if you're breaking two or three well you're at two or three times the material and the homeowner is going to have to pay for that um, or you're just not going to get a very good job so get a qualified shake guy um, who's been doing it a long time they, there's, there's a lot of little tricky techniques in how to get these shakes out the way you remove the nails and um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it takes a lot of skill and um, uh, we've been doing shake roofs for 22 years um, anyway um, uh, what you'll find with an experienced shake person is they'll be pulling the worst ones out and not damaging all the other shakes around that one that they're trying to remove um, so it's going to give you a, a lot better job and they should be able to point out any um, leaks and problem areas and uh, things of that nature along the way and another problem area we do see with cedar shakes is um, in between the joints we get uh, like this visible holes in the joints and the roof's been on space sheeting the other side of that tar paper there um, is straight in the attic so we needed to uh, take care of that shake right there um, 